Hi, I'm Jonathan with the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure. We're here in Nanaimo today to talk about how to install impermeable sheeting on slopes. It is an impermeable material used on slopes or material stockpiles to prevent erosion or sedimentation. First step is taking a look at the tools that you'll need for the day. You'll need some sandbags, some rope, some stakes, pickaxe or pulaski, pry bar, sledgehammer, a couple of shovels, and of course, your impermeable sheeting. Generally, we use six mil polyethylene sheeting. Step one, select and mark a location. Once you have your tools ready and your materials, look at where you're gonna apply your impermeable sheeting. Take a look and make sure you know where you want to apply it. Step two, inspect and prepare the surface. Remove any rocks or woody debris. You can see that this slope was already prepared by a machine. It was track packed up and down the slope and not perpendicular. It's ready for applying your impermeable sheeting. Step three, excavate a trench that is 15 centimeters deep and 15 centimeters wide. Your trench should always be at the top of your slope and run the full length of the impermeable sheeting roll that you're gonna install. And remember, to excavate your material adjacent or upslope. Step four, lay out the product in the trench with the roll sitting upslope of the excavation. So when you're installing your impermeable sheeting, you wanna make sure it goes into your trench but you want to make sure it extends past your trench as well. Step five, backfill and compact the soil over top of the sheeting. You don't want to use a stake or something or staples to pierce your sheeting. And that's why when you're rolling out your impermeable sheeting, you're weighing it down with sandbags or tires, things that aren't going to penetrate your product. When you're done backfilling, you can compact it with your boot or your shovel just to make sure you have enough material. That's gonna secure your impermeable sheeting. Next, you wanna make sure you prepare your sandbags to weigh down your impermeable sheeting before you roll it down your slope. You don't wanna have your impermeable sheeting roll get away on you. You don't wanna fill them up too much and you don't wanna fill them up too little. About halfway is the correct amount that you want in a sandbag. That way it's not too heavy and it's not too light where it's not gonna help secure your product to the slope. Step six, unroll the sheeting from the top of the slope to the base of the slope. Now that you have your impermeable sheeting backfilled and secured and over the area, you can place a sandbag directly in the middle, but you're not gonna be using staples like you were in the roll erosion control product. You don't wanna pierce this membrane. You wanna keep this intact. You roll your impermeable sheeting down the slope you roll it down to the bottom of your hill. Now, a big consideration is wind. Until you're able to open up your sheeting, you might want to place a couple of rocks from your slope onto your sheeting to secure it. Once you get it down to the toe of your slope, that's when you can cut your sheeting at the appropriate length that you need to cover your slope. Now you're ready to flip your whole impermeable sheeting wide open. Step seven, install the sandbag anchors. So now it's a matter of sandbagging the top so it stays keyed in. Maybe go half, halfway, a third, depending on the wind, depending on the grade of your slope. You just want to make sure it stays. Just weighing it in, looking for a good depression. Now you can work with your ropes and lay down a string of sandbags to secure the section of impermeable sheeting. You first want to measure your slope, measure your rope, and then determine how many sandbags you want on that rope. So for an example, on this slope here today, we have about 10 meters. I'll probably put three bags on it. So that means about every three meters, I'll be placing a sandbag on the rope with a half hitch or any other knot that can keep it secure. Sometimes they do slide around quite a bit. That's why tying them to a rope is so beneficial. But when you place them, you wanna stay off the poly. You don't wanna tear it. And more importantly, you don't want to slip. You have a really steep slope. You want to make sure your sandbags are secure and they're not going to walk away on you. Take a wooden stake, get it secure, take the tail on your rope. And if you want, you can just do a simple bowling, wrap around your excess, take your bowling over top. That will secure your sandbags to a stake to the rope on the slope. For the final step, make sure any additional sheets are overlapped at least half a meter. So you're getting ready to roll out your second sheet. 
You want that half meter to overlap. And all the way down to the bottom of your slope, cut the length you want, sandbag down at the bottom, and there it is. You can check for any pillowing or sections that are flapping if you do have the wind. Maybe you need to fine tune it and add a couple more sandbags and strategic placing. And if you have them tied on ropes and you have a good half meter overlap, this impermeable sheeting is a great temporary measure to protect your slopes from wind and rain erosion, which leads to sedimentation. And there you have it. That's how you install impermeable sheeting on a slope.